What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm Michigan Sports Talk here. In this one, we're going to be talking about two commitments Michigan just picked up. One from the transfer portal and one from a three-star offensive lineman in the 2024 class. We're going to be talking about both of them and what they bring to Michigan. We're also going to be talking about five-star quarterback Bryce Underwood as he returned to Michigan for a visit yesterday. We also got some NIL news and Mozzie Smith going in the first round to the Cowboys. It's all going to be in this video, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So Michigan just picked up two commitments today. One of them was from the transfer portal and another was from the 2024 three-star interior offensive lineman, Jake Guarnera. He announced a couple hours ago, he's a 6'4", 290-pound offensive lineman from the state of Florida. On 24-7 sports composite rankings, he's ranked 457th nationally and the number 28th interior offensive lineman. And on 24-7 sports rankings, he's ranked as the 25th interior your offensive lineman in the class. Leading up to today's commitment to Michigan, Michigan had four crystal ball predictions going in their favor, but he chose Michigan over Florida, Penn State, and others in his top five like Rutgers and NC State. So another huge pickup for Michigan at the offensive line position. He joins Michigan's number one ranked 2024 class and he is now the fifth offensive lineman to commit to Michigan class. So the number of commitments on the offensive line is getting quite tight right now. Michigan did want to get a true center this cycle and Guarnera does have that experience at the center position and that's what Shrone Moore wanted. And his Despite his low ranking, Michigan definitely valued him as one of the best at the position uh, in the 2024 class. So, listen, Michigan, Jim Harbaugh, Sharon Moore, they know what they're doing when they recruit these players. They're one of the best schools to develop three stars into very talented and great players. And one of the big reasons for that is because they know who they want and they know what type of players they want to get. Now, according to the Michigan Insider, Guarnera on his commitment to Michigan said, I feel like their vision for me as a player and the ability I'll have to develop there, them coming off back-to-back -back Joe Moore awards and my relationships with the 2024 class, especially the offensive linemen, made a big impact on my decision. So they have a great coaching staff. The players are all really friendly. They're in the contention for national titles and that is something I think very highly of. He actually said before he announced his decision today that he made it final two days ago. He said it was cool. Coach Moore was really fired up for that. Coach Harbaugh was also really excited. He was at his son's basketball game but said you are our sender for the future and we have big plans for you. So very cool there. Jake Warnera, the three-star interior offensive lineman commits to Michigan to potentially be Michigan's future center. And then the next thing I want to talk about is a transfer portal pickup for Michigan. It's a big one, and I know the position doesn't seem so huge, but Michigan picked up Louisville kicker James Turner from the transfer portal. This is a big pickup for Michigan because we need a kicker. We need a veteran, experienced kicker, and that's what Michigan is getting. He spent four years uh, at Louisville. He'll be coming to Michigan for one year, and he's actually uh, from Saline, Michigan. He went to high school there, so very cool there a Michigan native now I already talked about this in a video days ago but uh he entered the transfer portal Tuesday and uh, reportedly requested that teams did do not contact him because he already knew his decision and I did say that Michigan could have been that school and they obviously were as he is now coming to Michigan huge huge addition for Michigan as we won't have to worry about the kicker position especially in close games it's actually a two-time all ACC honorable mention for the 2020 and 2022 season he's also a Lou Groza award finalist Actually, I take that back. He was on the watch list for the Lou Groza Award. Uh, even so, just goes to show how good he was at Louisville. In his three years at Louisville, Turner made 142 of 145 extra points, including 38 of 39 last season, and he's been nearly automatic 
from short range in his career, 18 of 19 from 20 to 29 yards, 14 of 14 from 30 to 39 yards, and he's 14 of 20 from 40 to 49 yards in his career, including 3 of 5 last season. His career best is 50 yards, and in his career, he's gone 1 for 6 from 50 plus yards, uh, but he can have the leg. 50 yards is a stretch for many kickers anyways, but Michigan is getting a very, very good kicker and an experienced veteran player out of James Turner. This is also huge because otherwise Michigan would have been playing uh, either freshman Adam Samaha or punter Tommy Doman. And the next uh, thing I want to talk about is on the recruiting side, it is 2025 five-star quarterback Bryce Underwood. He actually visited Michigan just yesterday. He tweeted it out saying, I will be at the University of Michigan today. This is pretty big news for Michigan. He's the number one ranked quarterback in the 2025 class, ranked third nationally in the class on 24-7 sports composite rankings. He comes from Belleville, Michigan. Now, he's already uh, visited Michigan a couple times this spring with his father, and uh, his father was actually impressed with what Michigan had to offer on their last visit. He told the Michigan Insider on their last visit that we got to see how well J.J. McCarthy is de developing this year with the new quarterbacks coach. He also praised coach Ben Herbert strength and conditioning program and he said an amazing guy and very passionate about what he does. We met him before but really got hands on with him and see his work and what and that it is magnificent uh, the work that coach Ben Herbert does for players. But Bryce Underwood uh, visited Michigan yesterday. Huge news as we get him back on campus. And we got some NIL news as Jim Harbaugh and Michigan players team up with Wolverine Boots. Going to on and Wolverine, the iconic boot and clothing company Wolverine has partnered with Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh and several of his players. They will attend a Skills USA event May 4th, uh, which is actually National Signing Day for high school students. And uh, Jim Harbaugh will speak to students and inspire them with the same work ethic he is known to instill in his players. The Skills U USA National Signing Day is actually designed to support thousands of high school students across the nation as they sign their letter of intent committing to further their education with the trade program. And uh, the vice president of marketing at Wolverine said that Coach Harbaugh's involvement at Skills USA Signing Day will amplify our partnership as his attendance will surely inspire and infuse confidence to students across the nation as they embark on their career in the skilled trades. So pretty cool there as Michigan teams up with the iconic boot and clothing company Wolverine. And last thing I'll talk about in this video as we wrap it up is Michigan defensive tackle Mozzie Smith as he goes to the Dallas Cowboys in the first round, number 26th overall. Congratulations to him. The all Big Ten nose tackle going to the Dallas Cowboys. Had a phenomenal Michigan career in college. I'm sure he'll fit right in with the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Micah Parsons actually wanted Mozzie Smith, so very cool there. I'm sure he'll fit in right away and be playing. So congrats to Mozzie Smith, Michigan's only first rounder uh, in the draft this season or this year. But uh, other than that, that is going to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead, drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more if you are new. I'd really appreciate it. But other than that, hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace.